Welcome. Today we're going to talk about Instacart. Specifically, I'm going to share with you steps on how to open and set up an Instacart account through the Instacart app. If you do not have a smartphone or a tablet, you can always go to instacart.com on your laptop or desktop and set up an account that way. So, let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I am on my Apple iPad. And it doesn't matter whether you're on an Apple device, like an iPhone or an iPad, or if you're on an Android device. Setting up your account through the Instacart app, the steps are going to be the same. So, for purposes of today, let's assume that you have already downloaded your Instacart app. The first thing you're going to do is tap on the Instacart app. And the first screen you're going to see asks you for your zip code. So right in this field here, I'm going to tap my finger and type in my zip code. I tap on continue. And then the next thing that comes up are the stores that are available through Instacart in my zip code area. So what I'm going to do for today is set up Wegmans. So I'm going to tap on Wegmans. The next screen you'll see is really where you start to actually create the account. And I always create my accounts through my email. I never go through Google or Facebook or Apple. I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend you actually go through with your email address. So you're going to tap on email. The next screen that comes up, it asks for your email address. So I'm going to tap here and here's where you type in your email address. For my uh, purposes of today in this demo, I'm just going to make up an email address. So I'm just going to type in a made up email address. and then tap continue. The next screen that comes up asks you if you want to enable notifications. I always tap on not now. If you are a Wegmans Shoppers Club card member, you can type in your card number right here and tap on continue. I don't have a card, so I'm just going to click on this X. And now we are at your home page for Instacart. But before we can shop, we have to finish setting up our account. So in the upper right hand corner, you see this little icon that looks like a little person. You're going to tap on that icon and it brings up a menu of items. What we're interested in is your account settings. So you're going to tap on your account settings and there are one, two, three, four different sections that we need to set up before we can shop. So let's go to account info. As you can see it has my email address that I have associated with my account but I need to create a password. So I'm going to tap on create password and here and this field is where I'm going to type in the password that I want for my Instacart account. Remember your password has to be at least eight characters long, have at least one capital letter, and a number or some type of special character. Once you type that in, you're going to tap on save. Again, for demonstration purposes, I'm not going to do that, but you would just type in your password and tap on save. You'd hit your back arrow a couple of times and then you would go to personal info. Here it asks for your first name so I'm going to remove that information. I'm going to type in my first name then my last name and then my phone number and again I'm going to make up my phone number for now and I'm going to tap save. I hit my back arrow and I'm going to type in my address. 
I'm going to tap on Add Address. As you can see, it already has my zip code in place, as well as my city. So I'm just going to tap up on Street Address and type in my address, which again, I'm just making up here. If there are any special instructions I want to give to the delivery person, uh, I can write those special instructions down here. I'm all done. I tap on Save. There's my address. I tap on the back arrow. The last thing I'm going to do is set up my payment methods. I have to have a credit card on file in order to pay for the groceries, so I tap on Add Credit Card. And this is up here in this field is where I'm going to type in the credit card number, the date and year of expiration, as well as the security code. Once you do that, you just tap Save. You hit your back arrow and you are complete. Your account has now been set up and you are ready to go. From this point on, you are ready to shop. And in my next video, I'm going to show you actually how to shop and add items to your cart for purchase. Before I wrap up this video, I would like to tell you about the wonderful folks over at Lifespan. Lifespan provides information and guidance in more than 30 different services for older adults and caregivers in the Rochester and Monroe County area. So if you're 60 years of age or older, you have questions, concerns, or need assistance, please call Lifespan at 585-244-8400, or you can visit their website at lifespan-roch.org. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a little something new. And be sure to join me for my next video, which is going to be how to actually shop using the Instacart app. For folks who are interested in more information about group or private in-home instruction, you can visit my website at danielteaches.com. You can call me at 585-902-8450, or you can always email me at daniel at danielteaches.com. Thanks so much.